You didn't see that. Exactly, Duxler. Exactly. everyone. Please forgive me, I'm going to do my best this morning. I'm feeling quite under the weather. I don't know exactly why, it's kind of weird. I've definitely come down with something, but it's not, it's not major, but the, I, you know when you just feel like you're sick? Basically yesterday my head hurt for reasons unknown. Not even a headache, just like my inner ears were stinging. And now today I feel generally just dizzy. Um, so something, I've, I've, I've got a bug of some description. I took a COVID test and it came back negative. I don't know what it is. My throat is also quite dry and quite sore, so I'm trying to drink as much as I can. And I've also got some coffee with some honey. Um, but if I have to stop at any point, I'll let you know. Uh, but apologies if I, um, struggle at any point this morning. Before I get started then, folks, I hope you're having a nice day today. Welcome to your Friday. I hope, you, I hope you've had a nice week. So please know that on the bullshittery front, I haven't started the next project yet. Having completed Rising Storm Vietnam bullshittery, I was just taking the week off to relax and recharge the mental batteries. That's nearly finished, although I am doing a little bit of a side project. Someone requested that I work on a, um, like a waiting screen. You know, like for live streams, when, when the streamer brings up like an animated waiting screen. Somebody requested that I animate one with some assets that they've given me through Photoshop. So that's a work in progress. My PC is hating me for it because I'm using lots of particle effects and... Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried rendering with particle effects, but oh my, if you ever want to have a hot PC, yeah. 
Anyway, um, so yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going back and forth and, um, yeah, just doing a favour for somebody. Right. Anyway, let me just pour this coffee. How are you all doing? How's everyone? Thank you, Psyduck, Isa17, CN75, Kirby, Formiga, Adam, Nepu, and Kamasiro, T-Bone, and Ala- uh, sorry, Alaboran and Christus. Thank you, folks. You're very kind. Thank you for your generosity, everybody. Go to a doctor? I could do Hiroto if it gets worse, but there's no need going to the doctor for every little snivel. The, d the doctor will just say, get some rest and go home. I'd rather go home and get some rest, I suppose. Thank you for saying so, Candy. Um, yes, if anything, uh, I realise how... Yeah, so working on something like this, uh, I realise how much I've sort of picked up through osmosis when it comes to Adobe After Effects. Um, so a few years ago, I was a complete duffer with it, but now... Well, now I'm using expressions to do particle effects, and yeah, it's just all very... I'm like, oh yeah, I know this now. Um, yeah. Once you know the tool, everything else just fits, in, fits into place. It's fun. Hmm. Right. Could do Formiga. Yes, if there's time. Yeah. Um, I was working on a different sub notification at one point, but that fell through the cracks along with so many other tasks that I need to do. Ah, oh dear. Anyway, so, welcome indeed, everyone, to a bit of Outer Wilds. If you're not familiar with this game, it seems to be a story-slash-mystery type game uh, which feels, sort of mouthfeel-wise, quite similar to Abe's Odyssey. It's Abe's Odyssey meets Little Big Adventure meets Kerbal Space Program, a first-person story-based game in which you play as a young, uh, so a hatchling, member of a young race, a sort of Mudakan-style race that live in the forest, a place called Timber Hearth, which is a, a beautiful green world where you, you've got your own basic space program where you're launching up into space to explore your solar system and find out exactly what's going on. So, let's get in and I'll explain what's happening. I'll bring you up to speed. And wake up. We open our eyes to see something flash in the sky. A blue light floats away from some sort of a ship, which then falls into what looks, looks like a gas giant. It's tradition, apparently, for all young Harthians to have a campfire sleep out, I guess, before they go on their first mission. I would be probably astronaut 7 or 8, really. There's been quite a few of them. I don't think my character has a name. I'm just a young Harthian. This is Slate, by the way. Slate's an engineer. Anyway, so, here's what's happened so far. So we get aboard our ship, which is mounted aboard that wooden and flammable <coughs> uh, landing pad. We take flight into space. We're the first Harthian astronaut to carry with us a recording device which is able to automatically translate alien text. And there are aliens. We know this because scattered all over our planet are ruins of a race of creatures called Nomai. We found a statue of one of them. It's in the observatory over there. Uh, a Harthian called Hal is the caretaker of the museum. And he showed us around and um, basically showed off a statue, a three-eyed statue, which is odd because, look, Harthians have four eyes. We all do. So they're not like us, clearly. So a three-eyed statue uh, of the Nomai. Now, the Nomai appear to be extinct. Hang on. Huh. The Nomai appear to be extinct. We found their ruins all over the place. And I'm the first Nomai... Uh, sorry, I'm the first Harthian to actually have a functioning translator. Bear with me just one moment. I just need to turn the game down just a little bit. A bit too loud in my ear. One second. Pop that down there. Yeah, pop that down there. There we go. So, we're going around their ruins, translating their text. They seem to be long extinct, and we've, we're actually finding their bones. We're finding skeletons of Nomai all over the place. So they didn't leave. They died. Concerningly, we keep finding them in positions where they, they've died, say when they were eating, or when they were working on carving a statue. 
They didn't evacuate. They didn't foresee whatever calamity befell their race. And we're trying to figure out exactly why. That's Porphy over there making soup. Hey, Porphy. Who's that over there? That's not uh, Spinnels the Fisher, isn't it? That's uh, Rutile, the old man. Yeah, I got it right. Yeah. So yeah, welcome to Timber Hearth. Welcome to the village. So, anyway. The, um, yeah, so the death of the Namai is kind of weird, and we're still investigating exactly what happened there. But we've since gone to other worlds in our solar system, and we've made a few revelations. Firstly, nearby is the world of Brittle Hollow, which appears to be a strange and unstable world, where the Namai once had a city that's falling into the core of the planet. One moment. Now, they were conducting observations on what they called the Eye of the Universe. Apparently, it drew them here. They're a migrating species of alien that were warping from system to system, and they followed a signal, which they dubbed the Eye of the Universe, and they were able to extrapolate that the signal is older than the universe itself, something that's perplexed them. Weirdly, though, when they arrived, their ship malfunctioned or crashed, or both, and they ended up getting tangled up in some briar thorns which make up the planet of Dark Bramble, an entity that I'm still not overly familiar with. We'll see it in the sky somewhere. Anyway, three escape pods were launched from the Nomai vessel. Two escaped. One went to the, um, what is it, the, uh, what are they called? The Hourglass Twins near the sun. Another one went to, uh, what is it, Brittle Hollow. The third one didn't escape. It's presumably still trapped there. Anyway, what's weird is that shortly after doing this, they seem to abandon. They 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 stopped their search for the eye of the universe, whatever it whatever it was. And instead, they started building cities and working on a project, a few different projects, but a big one that they called what was it? The Ash Twin Project. Its purpose is still unclear. I don't know what's going on. They also started working on some sort of probe, some sort of probe cannon, which they were building on Giant's Deep, which is that watery world over there, the green one. Anyway, so a few different revelations. The probe wouldn't work, but that being said, that thing we just saw flash looks a lot like the probe launching, which doesn't make any sense. The time doesn't match up. If the probe is just launching now, who launched it? I mean, they've been extinct for hundreds, presumably, hundreds if not thousands of years. We keep finding their bones. And immediately after launching, look, the wreckage of the, of the launch, it, it broke apart. It came to pieces. It's not clear exactly what's going on there. We also found a place where they manufacture these strange statues, which seem to uh, record the memories of people that go near them. It's very strange. Three of those statues have been activated. I activated the one in the museum. Uh, Gabbro on Giant's Deep activ activated another one that he tripped over. And a third one has been activated by someone unknown. Maybe it's tied somehow to the Ash Twin project, but I know not why. Whatever's happening, though, it seems to be resetting your memories when you die. Meaning that if, any any well, if anything happens to me, I wake up next to this campfire. I see the statue, or more specifically, I see the mask that the statue is apparently linked to, according to the Namai, and then I wake up here, stuck in a time loop of some description because of that statue. There's one final part of this puzzle. For some reason, the star keeps exploding. Every 20 minutes or so, the star goes nova. It runs out of fuel and explodes, a process that is normally supposed to take millions upon millions, if not billions of years, depending on the size of the star, seems to be happening in minutes. And then we wake up again at this campfire. Very strange. We need to keep investigating. When we went to Giant's Deep, we discovered from the crew of the probe cannon, the thing that they were building, that the power source wasn't working. Uh, someone called... Arvin. No, was it Arvin? What was his name? No, someone called Yarrow, a Nomai called Yarrow, pointed out that the power system wouldn't work, and the operator of the cannon, someone called Kasava, was upset about that. They were trying to figure out exactly why it wasn't working, and they were going to the observatory in order to look at 
Something semi-related, one of their parts fell off the cannon and sank into the depths of the, of the planet. So they went to the observatory at Brittle Hollow to try and figure out why. So at least I now know how to get into Brittle Hollow. Sorry, as in the observatory on Brittle Hollow. So, I don't have all the pieces of, the, of this puzzle. Why the Namai died, what killed them, what they were doing, what the hell the Ash Twin project was and why they were so fascinated by it, and what the hell is the Eye of the Universe. Welcome aboard my ship. Okay. So, where to now? Should I go to Brittle Hollow, or should I go back to Giant's Deep? Let's go back to Giant's Deep. There's more that I can investigate there. Specifically the other island that was covered in thorns. Let's go. Initiating. A hydrogen-powered spaceship takes off from Timber Half, putting us into the Outer Wilds, which I presume is the name of space. Okay, switch over to my scanner to detect the sounds of musical instruments being played by the various different Harthians. That is a wind instrument being played by Gabro on a world full of probe doubts and water spouts. Giant's Deep. For those joining the stream, I hope you're having a nice day today. So I'm just on my way. That moon can fuck off. <laughs> just on my way to a strange world. You'll see why in a second. So look, the pieces of the cannon scattered there. Autopilot disabled, falling into the planet. Ooh, try not to smash into that. It fired and then it just came apart. Here we go. Welcome to Giant's Deep. Okay. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ah. Okay. Right. So this ocean world consists of lots of floating islands which can be flung entirely clear of the atmosphere. This is the island where they were manufacturing the Namai statues. Okay. This island appears to be moving around a lot more than the others. I haven't explored this one. Let's have a look. What is that? Same growth that we saw on Timber Hearth. Is that some sort of organism? Weird. Hang on. Let's get my suit on. Ghost matter detected. Dangerous. Stand by. Photo mode. I can only detect it via the camera. So don't go that way. Here we go. that? It looks like it has limbs. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Hang on to something. Go. Uh. Whoa. 
There we go. We're in space. The whole island has been flung free of the atmosphere. Just stay still. We're a full a kilometre and a half above the clouds. There we go. Stay still, stay calm. Whoop. There we go. Splash underwater. We're okay. The ship's okay. Oh no, it's not okay. It got flung. Damn it. Okay, hang on. Can I make it back inside? Damn it. That's going to be a big problem. Recharge and I'm good. Okay, quickly get it back into a position. Actually. Damn, is it stuck? Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay, we're okay. Woo! There we go. Dunk it down quick. Only got a limited amount of time. This place is tricky to explore then. Moving. And so for those just joining, I'm playing as a young explorer. An astronaut on an alien world called Giant's Deep. Damn it. Is there any way through? This way's clear. What the fuck is that? Somebody set up a campfire here. Look. Looks like a... A jellyfish almost, like a growth. Weird. Very weird. Frozen in another one of these crystal shards. Ah. Trip four. Entry whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes, zero. Remember to see Slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got Feldsparred. Feldspar? Holy shit. So Feldspar went down to the core? So Feldspar was the first astronaut. He went missing. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do, t if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, I can't wait to tell Hornfell and Gothen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so there's one more off the list. That's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble. Here I come. Okay. Well, we have some idea of... Yeah, so he was here at the very least. moving. See if I get back to the ship before it gets thrown off the, uh, off into the water. Okay. Hi there, Queen. Welcome indeed, Queen Tony. So yes, uh, Feldspar was the first astronaut that launched... Uh, Gossen is the flight trainer, and Hornfill is mission control. No one knows what happened to Feldspar. He disappeared. But he went to Dark Bramble, at the very least. I wonder if uh, Gabbro knows that. That's his campfire over there. Okay. Let's get back aboard. Let me go talk to Gabbro. Buckle up. Strange. 
looks almost like an insect under a microscope, doesn't it? Like a jellyfish or a fungus. Again, these blue crystals that we keep seeing everywhere. Okay. So Feldspar managed to get to the core. I wonder how he did it. And he didn't use brute force. Okay. So, over here is... There we go. Over here is Gavro. So another astronaut. I presume I cannot get through there. Hey, Gabbro. He, like me, is stuck in this time loop. You know, I kind of wish I built a hammock before we ended up in this time loop. <laughs> so he has to build it every time. Oh, no. Hmm. I found something. Nice. What you got for me? Um. Uh, no, I can't, I can't talk to him about Feldspar. Okay. Carry on, man. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. Right, so... I think the next thing to do, then, would probably be to go back to Brittle Hollow. Something I'm not too keen on doing, considering how frightening that planet is. Okay. So, that's Timber Half. That's where we launched. We stopped at Atle Rock, the Atle Rock, to say hi to Eskar. That's where we first encountered the observation tool that the Namai were using to, set, to detect the eye of the universe. They said it didn't work, it just kept spinning around when they tried to point it towards the eye. Which to me implies that the, the, well, the eye would be on Atle Rock, but apparently uh, they went to Brittle Hollow to build a new observatory on its south pole. So we'll go to Brittle Hollow and try and get into the observatory. The problem is, our opportunity to do so may have already passed. Brittle Hollow is brittle and hollow, and the path to get to the observatory may well be gone by now. I may need to meditate until the next thing, maybe. Hmm. Okay. What do you think? Oh yes, also, the observatory... So yes, not only will the observatory help me by... Well, pointing to me, to, pointing me towards this eye of the universe, but apparently they have a way of figuring out how to get below the core of this planet. Apparently. Okay. And there's a piece of the probe cannon that fell off, which could be interesting. There we go again. straight back down again. The planet falls, rather? The island falls. I like the attention to detail. They've even gone and put the, uh, the shape of the island in the water there. Okay. I'll tell you what I could do briefly. One second. Let me go back into Giant's Deep. So on one of these islands they were building the probe cannon? Its purpose is not clear. It seemed to be the, the work of Cassava, one of the Namai. She died there apparently. Where is it? That's the statue island. That's uh, Gabbro's ship. Oh, it's too late. I'm out of time. The star just exploded. Okay. 
So this appears to be the mask. Apparently it's a, mem a memory repository of some kind, which is part of the Ash Twins project. But there was a line in there that said this would only activate if it failed, I think? I wonder if a time loop is part of the Ash Twins project. They suggested that without this, well, life would be intolerable, for one would not know they're in a time loop. There we go. We awake. The probe cannon explodes when it fires, launching what looks like the probe, whatever that is. But again, it doesn't make any sense. Why would it fire now, a few minutes ago? Whereas the Namai have been dead for thousands of years, by the looks of things. We keep finding their skeletons mummified or completely just desiccated in their homes. Their ruins are falling apart. Anyway, let's not waste time. Let's get quickly to Brittle Hollow. There, we'll try and make our way to the observatory. As quickly as we can. So, if you're just joining the stream, I hope you're having a nice day today. Welcome to a story game which is basically Abe's Odyssey meets Little Big Adventure. We're playing as a young Harthian who is taking to space only to find that the star, the star he's orbiting around, is exploding repeatedly. And yet, we are dying but also waking up immediately with memories of it, and we seem to be one of the few. Only one other person is aware that we're stuck in this time loop, a Groundhog Day situation. Okay. There is a third statue, that, a third mask that appears to be activated. So one other person is aware. I wonder if one of them, the Namai, perhaps survived? Maybe they've been working on this problem for a, a long time. Okay, here's Brittle Hollow. Now, where should we go? We should probably land. Hmm. Where did... That's the... Is that the Quantum Tower? That's the Quantum Tower, isn't it? If we go down via the Quantum Tower... Okay. Well, the ship will be destroyed when the Quantum Tower goes down. So, what... Yeah, so this is some sort of... I, I'm guessing research facility? Landing mode. There we go. Whoops. Fucked up. Fucked up. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Whoop. There we go. I can breathe. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander around freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I've never seen them move, says Plume. Is that even possible? So yeah, for some reason these rocks, look, they change their position based on when they're being recorded. There's an entire moon that does this. The trees too. It's very strange. It's very unnerving. So the Namai had nothing to do with it, clearly. Anyway, sorry. Uh, no time for that right now. So we're right at the top of a huge research tower. I don't think I've... I might be able to get in. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I don't like this planet. I really don't like this planet. Gives me the willies. So, Brittle Hollow is, surprise, surprise, hollow. The entire planet is coming apart, piece by piece, because it's not a planet. It's not a planet. It is an accretion disk. Weirdly, not moving as fast as it should be for an accretion disk which is clo as close to the horror show that is in its centre. That is a black hole. It is an accretion disk of a fucking black hole. And that is scary. Okay, so... That takes me straight down where? The launcher. Integrity is 65%. Okay, it takes me down.
down to the base of the tower, I think. Okay. Yeah, this must be it. This must be the way. Okay, so... Is it broken? I don't understand. Is it going to fling me? I've never seen that before. I don't want to fall into the black hole. Are you sure it's safe? <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No, 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 shit. No. Oh, shit, the bed. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, what? What is that? What is that? What the fuck has happened? How am I not dead? Where am I? I thought I was going to die. It's not a black hole? I was supposed to be ripped apart. I'm still in the solar system. It doesn't make any sense. It's not a black hole? Ice? One of the Namai was talking about White Hole Station. Is that it? Okay, well I'm out I'm all the way out here without oxygen. Jesus. I've never actually been out in space with just my jetpack. What's this thing? Entrance, maybe? Like an airlock. Oh, yeah. What does that represent? That symbol is new to me. That one represents Brittle Hollow, with the observatory on its south side. Transfer to Brittle Hollow? A control system? Poke. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. Okay. Uh, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Oh. A fast travel system that they set up. I keep, I keep seeing this, not this specific symbol, but certainly this device all over the place. Is this one of their warp cores? Maybe? The power source? Seems smaller than the other ones I've encountered. That tiny item there that's drawing little embers, motes or something.
Embertwin projection stone. Yeah, this is the Ember Twins. So the two, the two moons. It looks like a small black hole. No, it can't be. If it were, it would be being ripped apart right now. Projection stone. I can place this in two. Hmm. No, it just dropped on the floor. I can place this into one of the viewing pools that they've built in order to see. Where does that go? Oh, let's explore the rest of the station. Another one of their systems. Whoops. Oh, I see. I can rotate the station? Does it stop when I remove the ball? No, maybe not. Oh. I see. Strange. If I just have it rotate slowly. I see. So when it's in line with Brittle Hollow, what happens? Activate somehow? Oops. Wrong sign. Yeah, it said that I have to be in, in, uh, aligned with it. One moment. to rotate very slowly so I can see what happens. Oh wait. Oh I see it's underneath the floor. Gotcha. Thought it was on the floor. Believe it. So what happens when it lines up fully? Does like a platform glow? Does this platform glow? Oh whoa, whoa, okay whoa shit. Okay whoa. Oh okay I figured it out I was right! I was bang on the money! My first guess! <laughs> Holy shit! My first guess was on the money! It is a transport system! It's for moving mass! Which is why it was outside the mine on Harthian! It's to move mass between the individual projects of the Namai! Okay! That's what it is then! So they're using the black hole to move mass around the solar system! Huh! This works? Return warp, uh, sorry, return warp status charged. Step onto the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Gotcha. So yeah, they weren't bothering with ships, they were just using this system to get all of the mined ore up to the Ash Twin project. Where the hell am I? F Feldspar spare jetpack, uh, jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I check with my little scout. Uh, I do too use it. Horn fills. You burnt, sorry, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity, re integrity reading says this place of Brittle Hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, uh, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. 
Okay. I see, we're just above the hanging city. Don't have long before it goes. Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the Whitehall Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our destination worked. Sorry, our design work, uh, worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I don't know how close it is to a known as original design, but as long as uh, what we've built works, then I'm delighted. Okay. Have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error. I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run full diagnostics and hopefully locate the problem. Yeah, they did, didn't they? A couple of them returned to... Ah, there we go. Hang on. It's a projector. So yes, a couple of them returned to the Whitehall station. I didn't find them there. So you see this thing? This is a projection pool? It seems to be a way. So this means Brittle Hollow. I saw a similar design on... Um, so this must be the sender, and this is the receiver. So watch. This is the Ash Twin Project. Whoa. 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 I didn't expect this. I thought I was going to see the room with the masks. I'm on the surface of the Ash Twins, one of the two Ash Twins. This must be one of the towers that they were talking about. They said that they were taking mass away from Harthian, uh, sorry, uh, Timber Hearth, in order to build towers. Okay. So this is part of the Ash Twin project, whatever that may be. Soon I'll have to go here. It's got to have something to do with it. Okay. We still need to get into the observatory. I failed to do so. I slipped and fell into the black hole. Maybe we should go... F no, no, okay, we'll just do the same route next time. Okay. Are there any other tablets to project? No, one of the dead. And am I. Again, they all died exactly where they stood. Rami and I, this is someone called Pi, I don't think I've met him before in, in the text. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from White Hole Station. Pi, as I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped onto the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Rami, Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is accurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate the phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke. Sorry, Pi talking to Poke. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It would mean, says Poke, I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Rami, yes, I hope so too. Poke. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Okay. Maybe the results of these experiments on the Ash Twins resulted in the Ash Twin project. Because they certainly abandoned, or seemed to abandon their search for the... for whatever the eye of the universe was the moment they got here. Don't tell Cassava. Oh. Hmm. And that's one of the masks, isn't it? Is this supposed to represent an Omai? Physically wearing one of the masks? I'm not sure. 
What is that symbol? Is that relevant? Between a black hole and a white hole, maybe? Not sure. Okay. So next loop, we go back, we quickly try to cross over and not fall into the black hole this time. Okay. Well, that's some relief then. Sorry, I thought I was going to get pulled to spaghetti by falling into the black hole. Yeah. So it's going to go off any moment. Those are the Ember Twins. Look. Are they making any noise? Uh, harmonica. So that's Eska whistling on the moon. The drums, of course. Chert's drums. So Chert is on the Ember Twins? Chert seems to be a very passive-aggressive Harthian keeps putting notes saying property of Chirk on everything. Oh look, that's the quantum moon, isn't it? Keeps appearing and reappearing when it, yeah, motherfucker. Okay. Oh, you can zoom in? Oh, sweet. I didn't notice that. That would be a deep, a giant's deep even. So there's Gabbro with his wind instrument. All the more impressive considering there's no wind when he plays it either underwater or in the atmosphere, above the atmosphere. Okay, we may as well meditate then. Okay, so we're going to meditate. Whoopsie, fuck. Meditate until the next loop. Here we go. So the star explodes. We die, we wake up again. So for those joining the stream, you're looking at a story mystery game where I play as a young astronaut from Timber Hearth, a sort of uh, foresty, lush world with a bunch of primitives that have figured out space travel, mostly by uh, sort of pinching technology. Seemingly. Maybe not mostly. But they've made their own space program with sticks and stones and wood. Strapping on pieces of Nomai technology. Effectively an extremely heavily contaminated um, civilization. So their pro their, the course of their progress has been perverted by the Nomai. Whose technology they've, as you can see strapped onto their vessels to explore. It's very bad. Okay. So, lift off. Get to Brittle Hollow as quickly as we can. Cross over. Try not to fall into the black hole this time. There it is. Brittle Hollow is my target. Starfleet regularly violates the Prime Directive? Indeed, and there's some excellent episodes of Star Trek demonstrating why that's a terrible idea. Thank you, Callow. Thank you very much, Callow. Right. So that's the... So just beneath here is the... No, there's no direct way to the observatory as far as I know. Okay, so this is one... Of, yeah, so it is what I thought it was. One of the teleportation systems. Okay. Uh, I could go down there if I wanted to meet Rybeck playing his banjo. But let's find the quantum... There it is, the quantum tower. A tower, or whatever it's called. The ship won't last long. This place collapses into the black hole. Okay. There we go. Suit up. What's the prime directive? A hypothetical, um, well, directive, I suppose, insofar as what to do when encountering uh, another civilization that is far behind you, technologically speaking and how you should observe but not interfere because you will inevitably change well it gives to one 
technology that's sufficiently advanced seems like magic, doesn't it? Uh, if you go back and start demonstrating a firearm to a caveman, they'll just think you're a god. You'll effectively be playing god. And you could potentially derail their entire civilization's progress. Horrendously. Hell, you could even cause their outright extinction by giving them technology that they don't have the, the prerequisite level of maturity to handle. Oh. Although, there it is. So it's a hypothetical example which does indeed have... Okay, maybe not anymore, but it did have real-world applications. Look what happened to the New World. Look what happened to all the people in the New World. When they encountered Europeans with gunpowder, we forever altered their, nat their civilization's natural progress. Not to mention infecting them with a shit ton of diseases that they couldn't resist. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Alright. Okay. Damn, that crystal's fell out of its shell. Where do we, uh... I still find the black hole really unnerving. <laughs> Makes my hairs go stand on end. Oh, look at that. Pieces of the crust just coming down. Falling into the black hole to be consumed. I just gotta jump? Can I even make that jump with the jetpack? I don't think I can, can I? Can I go up there? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I've just gotta... Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Oi. Ooh. Okay. Let me think. Which way? That way. There we go. Ready? Oh, uh, perfect. Okay, and then this way here. Oh look. No, what's that way? Is that where we need to go instead? Never make it. Oh. Okay. Jump. There we go. You ready? This must be it. This is the observatory. Okay. Jesus Christ. That's where we got to land. Yeah, just, you know, casually, just, you know, over the top of a quantum singularity. Which, weirdly, would have killed me, but did not, and I know not why. Oh, fuck. Ghost matter. Oh, fuck that! <laughs> oh, no. Game! Oh, that's horrible. I hate the developer. The developer... The, de the, de develop no, the developer of this game can suck my knob. That's terrifying. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Now the ghost matter's there. Don't fall into the black hole that will rip me apart. Potentially. Uh, okay. Okay, we're fine, see? We're fine, see? Uh, 
Uh, okay. Whoa. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. Ah, the observatory. a platform on the other side if I were to jump around how does one get past this bit I jump all the way over there seems like a huge jump or do I just jump up and then down again oh hang on can I climb these rocks okay I'm just, one second is it just straight up? Literally, just like that? No, see, it's slanted. I'll just fall off. Okay, all the way over there then. There we go. Mm, yep, yeah, fine, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh. Okay, we can do it. If, we, if I made that jump, I can make this jump. Ooh, more glowing crystals down there? Oh, I see, they're broken all the way up. further. I presume I can jump that high? Yeah. Got to be very careful though. Oh shit, here we go. Ready? <laughs> yeah, we go. Okay. Okay, we're here. I've done it. Right. So, Spire Apparently, uh, sorry, a Namai called Spire was the one that handled the observatory. I wonder if we can find records. What is that? Whirlpools similar to the ones on Giant Steep. Whoops. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise these are cycl cyclones that Kasama typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conoy is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> okay. solve that mystery and also explains how um, Feldspur got underneath the current so we can go to Giant Steep in order to investigate further ah so the projection stone of Giant Steep but what will it show me transmission location Brittle Hollow Giant Steep projection stone oh it's not a projection pool that is text 
Cassava, so she's the manufacturer of the probe. Conoy, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank. Oh, I, I think I've read this. This is the same message, yeah. So a piece of the probe sank. One second. So, projection pool, brittle hollow, giant steep. What do we see? This is the construction cradle. Yeah, so this is how they're communicating back and forth. Okay. Right. Ah, the door. It was broken from the outside. The inside mechanism is enabled. We can now access the surface directly. Okay. <sighs> right. So, well, we now we now know how to get down, well, down into the middle of Giant Steep. But what about the final thing that they were supposed to be observing here? They were looking for a way to detect the eye of the universe. Thank you, Prototype, Gemmel, Zervais, and Mexican Ewok, and Callow. Thank you, all of you. Sorry if I'm missing subs, folks. Thank you for your kindness. Oh, look. Up here. So their observatory on the Atle Rock was not sufficient. Okay. The Ash Twins. Is. That's very cool. Okay. I see. It's a model of the solar system. Timber Hearth, my home. Timber Hearth. Brittle Hollow, the world we're standing on. Black holes and banjos. Giant steep where the statues sleep. I've never been here. I've seen it using my telescope. Show me. It's that thorny world. Shit, I don't have long. Hang on. What have we learnt thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? asks Conoy. Mallow says, based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel, the ship that they used to get here, originally followed the eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Cassava. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava. How can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when we first arrived here. So erase the power, yeah, a race of the power of the Namai failed to find this place. I don't have long. They there, there, there it is. That's the symbol of the eye of the universe, whatever it means. them, isn't it? Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe.
They said that it was a signal that seemed to predate the universe itself. And then weirdly, when I went to the Hanging City beneath Brittle Hollow, they were coming up with all sort of weird suggestions for what it could be. They don't know. It's just wishful thinking. They think it's alive. They think it's not alive. They think it's a... Whatever you... Basically, they, they don't know what it is. They were just coming up with a bunch of fanciful nonsense. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the Eye of the Universe? Asked Conoy. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye uh, visually instead? Let's send out, send out a probe. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would... Oh no. No, you didn't. You idiots. I know what they did. I believe we have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken to Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, yeah, so let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. I think I know what they did. That's what the Ash Twins project is, isn't it? It's a time loop. It resets time. And then they launch the probe every time in a random direction. Giving themselves the time to potentially find whatever this thing is. They trapped themselves, didn't they? They trapped themselves in an endless time loop. Hoping that one day they would find it. That still doesn't explain why they're extinct. Unless they were somehow immune to the time loop and... Hmm. They got so obsessed that they sealed themselves in via their own technological supremacy, didn't they? Hoping that one time, one launch would find it. But still, that would mean that many of the statues would still be activated. The fact that only three... Who's the third? Who's the third statue? There's one last mask. Uh, one last mask that is initiated, isn't it? Who is that mask? Is it a Nomai? The final guardian of it? Just watching over, waiting for that one moment where they find it? Then they'll break the loop? How long have they been in this loop? How much time has passed? Is it just this solar system? Jesus. Okay. What part were they launching that sank beneath the waves? What has that got to do with anything? And what happened to the vessel that got caught in Dark Bramble? Okay, this loop is nearly finished. We'll go back to the ship and review what we've learnt. So we now have a way of getting beneath the current of Giant's Deep where the statues sleep. Right. What the hell is the Eye of the Universe? say how, imp uh, how sort of impressed I am by the game's overall it, 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 it's hard to describe it feels like it's just like stuff like this just little details like liquid solar system being made all those little clever details that they're putting in really gives it a sense of I don't know 
Gives it a sense of soul. So yeah, they trapped, I presume, they trapped themselves in this solar system, continually trying to find the eye, launching a probe every single time. Ah. Oh wait, this is, uh, this is, um, Rybeck's ship. I wonder if, I wonder if we should go speak to Rybeck. Might be interested in knowing what we know. Maybe they only come up maybe they only came up with that plan when they made their discovery from the White Hole station. When they realized that they could fiddle with time uniquely here. Okay. Let's meditate then. Um if you'll forgive me just one moment, I'm desperate for a wee wee. I had a coffee and it's gone straight through me. One second. Just going to pop the dog there. Right. One moment if you please. Okay. <laughs> you right, sausage? Yeah, she's good. She's a happy girl. I woke up this morning and she was trying to get into the duvet. She'd accidentally um, found herself outside the duvet when she was sleeping. And so I lifted up the duvet and basically pretended to be a tickle monster. Hmm? Yes. I sort of grabbed her and started petting her and she gave this sort of, oh no, you know, like, don't grab me, but then just gave up a few seconds later and just enjoyed having a snuggle. Yeah. <laughs> She's happy. She's a happy girl. Bit smelly, though. She needs a good bath. I've been cleaning her with some, like, wet wipes and stuff, but she needs a proper, proper shampoo, I think. Yes. Right. Hang on. Okay. So, for those just joining, the star is about to go supernova once more, as our young astronaut is caught in this time loop. One second. Our scout taking pictures as it flies. Bonk. <laughs> One second. So what happens if I fire into the black hole? Do I see the station? Miss, isn't it? No oh, bugger. Hang on. I fire it directly up. Will it come down? Or just, you know, keep flying up and <laughs> off into space? Sure, fine, be that way. Shot on the bugger. Whoop, don't fall in. There we go. Let's see, there we go. So that's the white hole that it flew out of. There goes the star.
is the probe. The probe cannon is destroyed. Every time we wake up, that probe flies off in a different direction. I reckon that's what they're doing. Jesus, we could have been stuck in this loop for an extremely long time. God damn. We could have been completely unaware. We could have been doing this for hundreds of years. Waking up at this campfire. If that's true, if my if what I'm guessing is true, then fuck, that's horrible. Okay. So what who is the last mask, I wonder? Who is aware? Surely some Nemai have survived. Okay. Viewing ship's log. Bramble Island, Whitehall Station, the High Energy Lab. Okay. So, we've learnt that on Bramble Island, so an island of thorny vines and what appear to be a frozen jellyfish. A frozen jet? Yeah. It looks like a uh, Feldsburg camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones that the Namai use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. The new, more sensitive, sorry, sensitive locator the Namai built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Namai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Namai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a, a deep space probe. There were concerns about the probe's probability of launching in the correct direction. Uh, sorry, that the uh, probability prob that was that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Well, not if you can reset time. If you can inf infinitely reset time, then your probability of finding it is one hundred. It's, it's 100 100 percent you're gonna find it eventually okay the namai finished building the final module for the orbital probe cannon and sent it into orbit around around giant's deep i used a namai projection pool and saw the interior of the space station in orbit around giant's deep the namai decided to construct a probe cannon in orbit yet yeah, we know okay Gabbro says there's a strong current. What what fell exactly? I mean, what component fell? The high energy lab. One second. The negative time intervals measured at the Whitehall station was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. Okay. Right. Next stop then. Let's go back to Giant's Deep. And let's go deeper into Giant's Deep. Figure out exactly what fell off that cannon. Hmm? Okay. The interloper. Strange. Is that the probe, maybe? Are they looking at the probe? No, we just saw it launch. It wouldn't be on our charts. Let's go. Here we go. Where is Giant's Deep then? So there's Brittle Hollow with Rybeck and his banjo. Bum. Bum 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's full of atmosphere, isn't it? This game. Oh, see, so he's just playing the background bit. Alright, let's go. Onwards and upwards. Okay. So, yes. Figure out exactly what the fuck fell off the cannon. 
There were also some additional projection pools, I think, if I remember correctly, around the edge of the cannon. I wonder if we can see what else is in there. Hmm. Why the giant's deep, Candy? Apparently a piece of the probe cannon fell off during its construction. It fell under the water and way, way deep beneath the surface. I'm gonna figure out what that was. Here we go. Coming in for land. Okay. So, we're looking for a cyclone that is spinning counterclockwise. Clockwise, clockwise. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. There you are. Here we go, everyone. Hold on to your butts. Whoop. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, wow. We're beneath the current. What the fuck is that thing? That's terrifying. What the fuck is that? Uh, hang on. What the fuck? What? Ah, fucking hell, what the fuck? Uh... What? A red light, electrical pulse, and then it gets pushed away. I'm not happy now. I don't like that. I don't want to go near that. These things. The same electricity that's traveling across the surface is touching these jellyfish. Hello. Oh, oh, bar oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fuck, fuck. Okay, don't touch electric jellyfish without permission. Okay. Damn it. It's shagged my systems. Am I okay? I think I'm okay. Okay. So, the piece of the cannon that fell beneath the water. Yeah. Wait, let me go near it? Look. Reacts incredibly violently. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, we're not getting getting anywhere near that thing. Lift up above the current. Hang on. I'll find somewhere to land, fix the vessel. Oh shit! Oh god. Oh god. 
We died? I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh shit. The ship exploded. Okay. Right. So, whatever fell to the core of the planet won't let me go near it. Strange. It seems to channel electricity through the vessel or through the probe. Look. Launch again. This one's much closer than before. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. Came much closer to Timberhearth than it ever did before. The probe cannon falls apart. Okay. Huh. Tricky. So we can get down beneath the water, but we can't seem to go any further. Hmm. Hmm. Ocean depths. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Huh. Okay. So what now? Feldspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. When I launched my scout into the sea that crashed, crashed into Timberhearth, it ended up in a much bigger space, filled with fog and thorny vines. Yes. Maybe, maybe it would be a wise idea to go to Dark Bramble. Follow his footsteps, figure out exactly where he went. And also, if we go to Dark Bramble, we'll be able to see what happened to the third Nomai escape pod. What do you reckon, chat? Should we do that, or should we go to the Ember Twins first? What do you think would be more appropriate? Follow Feldspar to Dark Bramble, or investigate the Ember Twins. That's true, there's more to learn on Brittle Hollow. Notably that uh, photo, that, what is it, they had like a cannon that they were launching? Okay, uh, one fight. Sorry, um, uh, sorry to uh, cock block you guys there. Um, let's let's go back to Brittle Hollow because there is a prominent location I never explored. The cannon. What's the cannon? Why is there a cannon being built on on Brittle Hollow? Also, we can speak to Ryback and find it. Well, tell him what we know. I'm sure, he'd be interested. He's an archaeologist. Archaeologist, after all. All right. That's the Ember Twins. Brittle Hollow. So for those just joining, you're looking at a spaceship made of wood and metal and... Oh my god, I'm going to die. No, we're okay. Woo! <laughs> So you're looking at the uh, the flight of a young astronaut, part of the Timberhearth space program, who is exploring the ruins of some ancient aliens that died in the solar system, in this solar system. Shit, where should I start thinking about it? Hang on. Um. Oh yes, there's also the black hole forge, which we didn't check out. There's still lots to look at here, isn't there? Actually, yeah, let's start there, sorry. Over here, let's get down into the entrance of the Hanging City. There, is this it here? So they were using melt water for, to drink, I guess. Here. Right. I did it again, didn't I? Every time. Sorry. Okay, so after the escape pod came from the vessel, the Namai set up one of their cities down here. They picked the more structurally sound uh, North Pole and started building. 
And then they seem to almost forget about their previous lifestyle of migrating, migrating from star to star, warping from star to star, and set up a city with forges and school districts and some sort of quantum research tower. It's now little more than a decaying ruin. And they never made it out. Their corpses are everywhere. These rails here, I thought were holding up the city. They're not. It's some sort of forge which is built around the black hole. They're using it to manufacture things, notably warp drives. Its control system is through here. Jesus. Without dying. <laughs> Gives me the willies. Uh this symbolize again? The man pooping whilst playing with the beach ball. It was a so that represents the school district, doesn't it? School district. Meltwater district. I Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District. So that's the I Shrine. No, that's Meltwater. That's the I Shrine. Completely broken. There's no way up. The collapse destroyed it in both directions. There's no getting up this way. Died together. Damn. Is there a way that I don't know about over there? Yeah. Children died with toys in their hands, being told stories about the eye of the universe. I 
don't think there's any way through here. their teleportation system through Whitehall Station and then back again when it's in line. It is upside down. When they first landed in their escape pod, they set up a similar city, but it's coming apart. It was in an unstable area. So they all moved here. And then they died here. Okay. So... This is the teleportation system that they're utilizing. The thing is, though, is this mirrored on the other side? fly into the black hole get to the station on the other side and see if we can properly align first let me check something so those are the towers that have collapsed. Yes, it is more or less exactly aligned. Ah, oh, there's even a landing point here, if one chooses to. It is upside down, it's fully mirrored. So 
they must have one of the gravity stones present here. Unless this is it. Maybe it's mounted inside here. So does the ship... What the... Whoa. gravity spin the moment I get up here? No, seemingly not. Okay. What about the other side? Is there a way through? No. Okay, let's travel to Whitehall Station then. See if the solution is that way. I've never done this bit before, not intentionally. Mm. Jesus Christ. Whoa. <laughs> That's not nice. Okay. It's a lot less scary now that I know that it was not going to rip me to pieces. Oh, look. Oh, wow. The pieces of Brittle Hollow are actually here. I love the attention to detail. This game is really good. Okay. So. Do we have the ability to land on its surface or no? Match velocity. Step outside. This is indeed a warp system. This must represent the station, the cradle. Hmm. Trouble is, I don't have the ability to change... To change the receiver, presumably. I want it to be the underside. going to watch it for a moment. Does the planet icon change at all? No. Not a bad idea. Holy shit. That's concerning. What the fuck? Okay. Here we go. So just a brittle hollow. on the surface again. I was hoping that I'd be, it would be the underside pad. What? Uh, okay. It sends you back? After a certain amount of time, it pulses back? In case you got the wrong, the wrong one, I suppose. Ah, oh, wow. I see. Look up and spot your target. Wait for it. Step off quickly before it sends me back. I see. Okay. Frustrating though. 
were on the surface version. I wanted the underside version. I know not why. Whoops. There's no direct way down into the city. What is there? No, this way's broken. Otherwise, Feldsburg would have would have gotten in earlier. There must be another way. Hang on. Ouch. We'll keep searching with the time that we have left. I think I'm on the wrong part of the ice sheet. It's over here. I missed the writing next to the warp pad. It's alright, I already know what it says. It's welcoming people who have arrived from Whitehall Station. Back down, into the city we go. city. Unless we just drop down on top of the device? How does that help us? Unless there's... Well, is there a way to control the lift from within it? One moment. does it go? Well, presumably it goes all the way down to the accretion disk, so... It's creepy. I can't see an entrance. Very creepy. Doesn't, doesn't look like a hole. No. Doesn't look correct. something to do with the warp gate. Let's keep moving. Let's go and on the start of the next loop, go and investigate the other... Oh dear. Oh, it's all the way over there. Go and investigate the other part of this place we've not seen. We'll go and have a look at the cannon. The gravity cannon. Here we go again.
wake up. The cannon explodes, the probe is launched into a different direction, a slightly different direction every time. Every 20 minutes, time resets and that probe launches and then explodes the launcher. Right, back to Brittle Hollow, where we're going to go down and meet Rybeck. We're then going to take Rybeck's route over to what apparently is some sort of gravity cannon on the opposite side of the quantum research tower. For the people joining, confused, sorry, we're exploring the ruins of some long-dead ancient aliens that were in our solar system conducting some sort of unknown research. Whoops, did we do that? One of their major population centers was around the accretion disk of a black hole, which looks like a planet. But it's merely the debris that is circling this black hole, which they seem to be utilizing both in manufacturing and also for transportation. So, Rybeck. Let's find Rybeck. Where was he? I've already forgotten. We're looking for a campfire, I think? Ah. Alternatively, can we just land on the cannon? We might just be able to get away with landing on the cannon. Let's have a go. So, what's this thing? I don't have long. This area is very uns. Oh, okay. I thought it was unstable. Okay. Brittle Hollow projection stone. A projection pool. From Brittle Hollow to Brittle Hollow. What can you see? I don't know this room. Unless it's the lower part of the quantum research tower. Someone died mid-projection. Okay. There's a wall that I can read, though. A wall that I can read inside the quantum tower. I should try and get in here. I can't see an obvious way in. And the tower falls quickly. Okay. Good to know. More writing. Stand by. I'm at the shuttle, says Solanum. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Bells. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Bells. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Solanum. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Okay. Follow the path west to the crossroads. I'm guessing that's where Rybeck is. He said he found an area of high structural stability, and he's staying there. He's playing his banjo because he's terrified. To be fair, I would be too. Darn. I can just jump down. I should be able to make it. He died playing with his child. Watching his child play. Everything indicates that they didn't know. They don't seem to be panicking. They didn't seem like a civilization that knew it was doomed. integrity. This 
won't fall for the moment. The Southern Observatory. That way? Okay. What's this though? Mass cannon of some description? Does it launch mass? Hang on. The crossroads, west, 330 meters. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon shuttle. The device that the guy used to get himself to the quantum moon. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. I see. Call the shuttle home. So they devised a way to get to, to, get to the quantum moon wherever it was at the time. Activate the gravity cannon. The quantum moon appears to be moving around based on when you're recording it, when you're seeing it. The Namai didn't know what it is either. We think that the small rocks that come all over the place might be pieces of the quantum moon. ship of no my construction whoa 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 wow Solanum I'm here after watching it wander the skies for so long I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will be making the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that, it's, just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now though, I understand they bear no, no ill will. The universe is, uh, and we are. Okay. I am ready. He never came back? Okay. Must be something I don't know. A piece of the puzzle that I do not have. And that piece must be at the quantum tower. Okay. Okay. So. Yes, presumably we have to go to the quantum tower to figure out exactly 
how to get to the quantum moon. Turning my back to see if the quantum moon appears on me. Maybe that's the trick, to wait until you physically see it, then fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's still more I need to learn here. that go anywhere? Over there? The crossroads. Let's go to the crossroads. We'll meet Rybeck with his banjo of banjos and black holes. Stability, 79. So the tower remains intact, but the path to and from the tower is yeeted into a black hole. I suppose it wouldn't be yeeted into a black hole, would it? It would be yoinked into a black hole. go. Crossroads. Crossroads. It was west, wasn't it? So this way? Indeed. I will die, I, I will die on this hill. Yeet is the opposite of yoink. carefully as we can on our way westbound towards the crossroads I'm guessing that's probably it just casually flying over a black hole into the black hole, isn't it? How does that help me? Westbound. I'm going, yes, this is where I want to go. Maybe if you accidentally fall, you go that way? Oh, that's the crossroads. There it is. Okay. So Rybeck managed to get lucky. He said he fell down the gravity devices of... Uh, these, of the Namai, you landed on the surface. So this is the crossroads. I see. So from here, we can go to the quantum tower, the cannon, where they launch their ship towards the quantum moon, the, uh, hanging, si the hanging city where they live, hmm, and the southern observatory. Okay. This should be the path to the hanging city, yeah. Rybeck. Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Wow, I, I guess that means I've been here for a while, huh? Well, this is this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. Um, I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, of course. Anything you want. Uh, so I've learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Okay. Uh, so I saw the old settlement. I saw the hanging city. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Namai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build them, their most advanced settlement so close to you know what is beyond me. Maybe that's some kind of, uh, maybe, maybe that words, maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Namai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Indeed. So that they were using it to teleport it seems although not initially because they said they only recreated that technology I 
shit. Was that my path gone? Damn. Is that the route that I needed to get to the quantum tower? Consumed by the black hole. May well have been. Oh no, I may still have time. We'll see. I may still have time. Let's try and get to the quantum black... Did I do that? Whoops. Here we go. Ready? No! No! Piss, fuck, piss. I'm going to die. Well, not really. Ah! Whoa. I'm orbiting the black hole. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I don't want to be spaghetti. I don't want to be spaghetti. Higher in orbit, please. Higher in orbit, please. Higher in orbit, please. What the shit is happening right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm casually orbiting a quantum singularity. As you do, everybody. Hang on. That's the black hole forge. Uh, that's the quantum tower. Mm, up a bit, up a bit, up a bit. Oh, no! <laughs> I just brained myself on the side of the Namai ruin. Oops. Okay. Um... That was stupid. <laughs> Ouch. Oh dear. Okay. Didn't die. No, no. So the Namai have done something to the black hole. Instead of stretching me like a piece of taffy, which is what would happen as you get spaghettified, they've instead placed some sort of transit system for safety. So this is their transit system. Which I'm going to activate and point towards. Brittle Hollow. <laughs> but yes, in the real world, uh, black holes would... Well, so the, the, the larger the black hole, weirdly, the larger the black hole, the safer you are. Uh, for you can actually enter the edge of the black hole and be sort of the edge. You you can enter it and not be killed immediately as you fall towards it. A smaller one though is very very dangerous for the uh, relative distance between your head and your feet means that you'll be experiencing a different. Oh, is that the? No, we're okay. Um, yes, the difference between uh, so the distance between your head and your feet means that you will be stretched. You will be pulled apart. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, so I need to... Ah, oh, shit. I'm so I need to get into the quantum tower. Hmm. I don't think I can do it again now, can I? I don't think I have the time. Maybe I should do the next one. Shit. Hmm. Yeah, we might just have to come around again. My ship is... Oh no, my ship isn't too far. Hang on. Probably gonna break my legs before I get there though. Can a singularity be larger than another one? Well, it's just it's just an amount of mass. That's the thing. So a black hole is, as crazy and scary as they seem, it is just another source of gravity. It is just another bunch of mass all in one place. Uh, it's ultimately not that different from a planet. Planet have gra Well, a planet has a gravity well. Any amount of mass has a gravity well. So it's bending space-time to the point that it's creating a cone. So that's all a black hole is doing. It's just doing it so much that uh, light cannot escape, which is what makes it so horrifying to look at. 
So yeah, if you were to swap out our sun, for example, with a black hole, you really wouldn't, well, apart from it being very fucking dark and cold, you probably wouldn't notice a huge difference. It would just be another source of gravity. It's not going to suck up the entire solar system. If it's of the same mass... Okay. Oh, damn. Is that the quantum tower gone? It's gone, isn't it? Okay, we're just going to have to wait for the next one. Okay. Let's do it in style. Oh, are we falling? I think I'm falling. That's the, that's the project there, isn't it? Here we go. What does he do? What noise does he make when he wakes up from being burnt? Sometimes he chokes because he cannot breathe because he's run out of air. What happens when he got burnt? There goes the probe. There goes the cannon. Okay. Hey, the slate. Right. All right. Get our suit on. Buckle up. Head back to Brittle Hollow. Get inside the... Well, I'll just land on the top of the quantum tower. So, find out via the... Pardon me. Via the quantum tower how exactly the gravity cannon works and what the quantum moon is. So, for those just joining the stream, uh, welcome indeed. You're looking at a young astronaut who's taking off from Timber Hearth to explore the solar system with a new translation device that the Hearthians have built. A translation device that... Oh, shit, the bed. I'm okay. I'm fine. A translation device that will decode the Nomai ruins. So the Nomai being an, an ancient alien race that came here and then all died. This is one of their escape pods, for example. It turns out they are not here on pur... Well, they are here on purpose. They came here searching... Oh, yeah, hang on. Don't forget this. They came here following a signal. But then they bailed out via escape pods. One moment. So that's one of their escape pods. There were three. That's escape pod one. Escape pod unknown. Is it inside the star? No, it's on. What is it on? The twins? Okay. So I know about that one. And then a third one didn't escape the vessel when it was destroyed. Hang on. So presumably it will be on... Dark Bramble? Hang on. Creepy noise. There. Yes. Okay. One of the... If I keep doing that. One of the Nomai on Brittle Hollow was mourning the loss of, I think, its mate. He was writing upset messages on the wall. So I don't know if the ones at, Brittle, at uh, Dark Bramble survived. Anyway, so we're going around translating their ruins to try and understand what the fuck they were doing here. Following some s signal called the Eye of the Universe, which they seem fascinated with. That's Rybeck's first camp. But we're also trying to figure out why exactly time is looping. We seem to be aware of it because we accidentally in a activated a statue, a sort of memory recording statue that returns your memories after death. I'm blind. Where is the quant uh, where is the quantum tower? Just go high orbit. Hang on. There. 
this thing gets destroyed quite quickly so we don't have long. Okay, so we need to learn what we can about the quantum moon. Unbuckle. Not entirely sure why. Oh, look. Okay. How does one get inside this place? What's this thing? The trees are moving. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are prepared to make your first pilgrimage into the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Okay, so anyone who wants to get to the Quantum Moon, figure out what the fuck it is, has to go here first. Stairs are broken. Piss. Piss. Where does that go? Oh, that's if the portal is switched the other way? I think so. Yeah, so you've got steps that you can utilise if needs be. Let's go all the way to the bottom first. One moment. Ouch. Look. The way up is severed. Shit. the projection pool. Do you remember? Integrity 80%. Integrity 63%. This is to get to the crossroads. To get back to the, well, Rybeck and his banjo. Welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. What if I could? Forty-five percent structural integrity, and this whole thing comes down. Anyone see the way in? Seven percent structural integrity. Shit. I 
know not how. It's really piss poor launch. Dude. 97%. A wall run then jetpack, but it's just a set of stairs. It's not um there's no gravity crystals that are pulling me pulling me down, so I would just fall backwards? Would I not? Um well, give it a go, but surely I just fall backwards. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Look. So it's not a, it's not a gravity thing, right? It's just a set of stairs. So look, if I walk here, right, and then just jump, see, I just fall off. It's not gonna, see, it's not gonna help. If I jump, how high can I get? Nowhere near high enough. Um. Wait a minute. I've had an idea. I've had an idea. You ready for this? Hang on to your butts. Right. We know that the black hole doesn't kill you. We know that the debris from the black hole ends up on the other side of it. Conveniently placed sticky location for me to hang on to as it falls in. Let's ride it out. Although, yes, we are running low on air. That's going to be a slight problem. But if it's fast enough, then we should get to Whitehall Station. If it's fast enough. Stand by. seconds remaining. What do you reckon? Where's the nearest plant? Probably some distance away, that's the trouble. Fuck, is there time? Time to get to the crossroads? I don't know if there's time to get to the crossroads. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck, fuck it. Okay. See you soon. For those not familiar, for those uh, folks not familiar, that's Rybeck, a particularly nervous Harthian. Here we go. Right. So the crust is about to collapse, taking the quantum tower with it. Hang on to something. Integrity 27% should fall any moment. So for the people just passing through the stream, please know that I'm not working on a bullshittery yet. I'm just taking a week break before I begin the next grueling project. I'm doing, uh, as a favour, I'm doing a, a, like a, a stream overlay thing in Adobe After Effects for a couple of days. So just uh, fiddling around with that for a bit. I'll need to wrap up the stream soon anyway, folks, in order to get some lunch. Then I'm going to keep working on that. 
Indeed, Alistair. Also, hi there, Alistair. Thank you, Vanilla Gorillas, Mr. Raft X, General Tomcat, Samajahar, Jahar, uh, Fajordor, Martu. Go! Oh! 14%. It's almost going. The death of the Nomai reminds me a bit of Morrowind. Or at least so far. You know how you go through all of the ruins of the Dwenma and you find all of their bodies just collapsed over whatever they were doing at the time. Be it sleeping or eating or whatever. So as the lava moon above our heads is being pulled apart by tidal forces, pieces of it are raining down, destroying the crust, causing the entire, well, the entire planet to start collapsing. Maybe the process has accelerated for some reason. Especially considering they're using the black hole for point-to-point -point teleportation, so that would have been rather inconvenient if you were trying to build a space station. Here we go. Any second now. One more chunk should do it. There it is. There's the moon. raining down. Could that be it? That could be it. Oh. Oh, yeah, close, close, close. until the star goes. I won't have much time. Should have brought my ship with me. Technically, I am. It's parked on the roof. Have I got the wrong end of the stick? Does the path to the quantum moon get destroyed, but not... Sorry, the path to the quantum moon research facility get destroyed, but not the thing itself? I thought it did. Doesn't this whole tower fall into the black hole? We're going. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we are. Damn. Shit. Did it 
did not work. It did work. It worked. Okay. I did it. I was right. I'm here. Okay. My ship is close by. I don't have long. Its reactor's damaged. Okay, not important. Let's get in quickly then. So. Get inside the tower. And figure out what they knew. This way. died using the observation pool. Would it still function? Damn it. Did they get thrown? The tablet? There, one of their scrolls. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and you're ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine uh, our clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the poles, sorry, the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. The shrine? The shrine our clan built on the quantum moon, but remember in this, this, this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Quantum Moon's North Pole? Already holding a scroll. I need to remove this one. Empty socket. Bells. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, I'm almost out of time. You are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between those two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upwards from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. And it was this, this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find any, sorry, find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamt of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai, Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. symbols of each of the planets. Timber half. Wait, the eye of the universe? Shit. No, it's too soon. The eye of the universe is above this? Wait, the quantum moon? Is that the eye of the universe? It can go there. It can travel there. It can move across all of these planets one by one. And then it goes to where they're trying to find? Oh, 
Was it the secret the whole time? The sixth location. goes again. So, more questions, more pieces of the puzzle were steadily assembling. Then are my built statues to reignite their memories when they die? They were continually launching this, well, we think, trying to launch a probe that would find the eye of the universe, but were, were expressing that they didn't have the time. They were finding... Is that it? Is that the quantum moon? I think it is, isn't it? They were finding that there were causality fluctuations when they were using their black hole transporter and they were working on something called the Ash Twin Project, whatever it may be. Oh look, it's Northern Pole. There is something there. Quantum fluctuations. to this puzzle anyway thank you for watching folks i'm gonna go take a break and get some lunch i think so um yeah well i hope you enjoyed watching all the same and thank you thank you for sub sub uh, thank you for subscribing if you did thank you detective salad and randy vanilla and mr raft and general tomcat and samajadar and for jordor if you're still there right Ooh. i swear this fucking game hang on It's still edible. It's a bit burnt. Oh. Marshmallow. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. So, I'm going to go get some food. I'm sure I'll be back again later. Not sure what's going on this evening. I'm not sure if armor is happening or if perhaps it's tomorrow. But I look forward to continuing the adventure and figuring out exactly what's going on here on Timber Hearth. Right. Oh, I see. Did I get an achievement for cooking one properly? I've, I've cooked hundreds of these. Is that the first marshmallow I've made properly? So, yes, thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely afternoon. Um, I'll catch you later. I'm going to go get something to eat and also cuddle the dog who is being weird. Hello, sausage. I found an alien. Look. I found a very smelly alien. Okay. One second. Who's doing what? Let me just have a quick look and see who's streaming which games. Hang on. Ah, she does need a proper bath. I need to give her a real... Ah, she does need a proper, proper bath. Shampoo and all that. Hang on. So, um, let's have a look. So, Edberg is doing some Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, Sheep is doing some Elden Ring. And Messi is doing some Elder Scroll. Okay. In which case, uh, let me hand you over to Messy Essie then. Uh, so that's ZF Digby's fiance. She's doing a bit of Skyrim. I'll leave you in her presence. Right. Thank you again. All the best. 
Have a lovely, lovely afternoon.